People will always have something to say about what you're doing. And when you make a mistake, they will make sure to point it out and there is no road to perdition for you. But when it comes to them, not only is there a road of perdition available for them, but they are forgiven. So if it's going to be this way anyways, no matter what you do, no matter how much you improve, stop apologizing for being masculine. Go to the gym, take care of your body, get a dog, prove to yourself, to a dog first, some, a, an animal who is very forgiving, prove to them that you can take care, that you can be responsible, you can be accountable for them, because your kids are going to notice your body improving and they're going to notice the love that you have invested into your dog. They're going to notice how your dog is now loving you back. They're going to notice how your dog is actually listening to you, that they are obedient, that you have been persistent in disciplining them. It will take time. You're not going to get 10 pack abs overnight. You're not going to be able to train a dog overnight. Took us years to train Oakley. Now, she sometimes still doesn't listen. She'll go out and chase coyotes. And she did once and she got bit real good. And now she knows. The next time she needs an enforcer, that she needs to ask a male dog. Or that she needs to ask me. Dogs, humans, we are so alike. And when we play our gender roles, that's when you see progress. This bitch knows her place. And guess where our place is? Leaning into masculinity. Leaning into your manhood. Leaning into what increases your testosterone. And I'm not talking about the testosterone for down there. For up here. Did you know that the number one purpose of testosterone, the most important function, is for cognitive performance for males? Females too. But especially males. So stop apologizing for being masculine. Do what you're going to do as a man because you're gonna be judged anyways. So F it, be yourself and go get that dog. Get your ass in the gym.